Buenos dias, Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know, like a motherfucking smack addict, right? And as you can tell by today's thumbnail, yes, indeedy, I've been asked time and time again in a menudo style, in a direct fashion. Vato's always getting at me talking about who is this Vato Epi Cortina? Hey, I seen Epi Cortina a long time ago. He said he was a captain. He said he ran all Salinas. He said he was fucking this. He said he was that. Well, he lied, okay? And I'm about to tell you guys the real get down on Epi Cortina uh, to the best of my knowledge, to the best of my recollection, and to the best of realness, right? And in a direct fashion, I'm going to tell you like this. Um, they put two on the 10 or 10 on the two. You feel me? And in that fashion, trip out. Epi Cortina did defect from the NF. He was an NF member. Um, as far as a high ranking cap captain and things of that nature, Charlie, man, that wasn't the case. You know, I've talked to uh, several individuals that were in the organization, um, past and present. Also, uh, several individuals that knew this Valto from the city of Sanjo, man. And they all have told me the same thing, that Epi wasn't a bad guy, you know. But I think Epi Cortina, what they didn't say in MSNBC was that he had the shortest reign as an NF member in history, okay. Um, the Valto became an active NF member and lasted for all of about two weeks before he defected. So um, I'm not going to sit here and slander the man's character or slander the man's name and saying that he wasn't about his business because he got to an elite level. And for any man that gets to that elite level to join an organization, a prison gang, is the one, right? And I, you know what? I don't even want to term it prison gang, man, because I don't look at it as a gang. I look at it as an organization, right? That's the way I look at it. Um, but this no, this man was not a captain. He was not in charge of doing this and doing that. He might have assisted individuals and, in, you know, uh, a few things that were going on. Um, and quietly as is kept, that was about the gist of it. That was about as far as that individual went when it came to that. Um, now, you know, you have to understand, man, when these big organizations like MSNBC, uh, Fox, whatever, media news, whatever, when these people do their spills, they put out... Uh, these TV shows, these gang wars, these gang lands, um, lock up, or whatever the case may be, they're always going to fire some shit up. Oh, yes, there will be a lot of tapatio, right, for that menudo. They have to put a lot of tapatio on it because they need to make it exciting. See, drama is what counts, vato. No one wants to hear a boring old spill about a vato that fucking lasted all of two weeks and then fell off, you know? That just wouldn't sound right. So they put uh, uh, labels on these individuals, and these individuals, of course are getting some type of compensation or getting some type of, uh, um, they're looked at in a certain uh, certain way, you know, so they just run with it. And I've seen this happen with several individuals, man, where they're, you know, they're told, hey, we're just going to say this, just go with it. And they're like, oh, but I wasn't. It doesn't matter what you were, puto. Just say it. Okay. You know what I mean? If you want that fucking caja of sopas, you're just going to run with that. Orale. And this is the case with Epi Cortina. Now, he does come from the city of San Jose. You know, and growing up, of course, he rose through the ranks of being a gang member, a street gang member. You know, and of course, when you're a gang member, man, you have to be about your situation. You know, every situation is different. Every program dictates different movements and different moves. You know, so it's just not like this fucking Volta woke up and was like, you know what? I'm going to be an NF member. Watch it. It's going to happen. And then it happened. You know what I mean? It doesn't happen like that. You have to prove yourself. You have to have the right qualifications. You have to have the right mentality. You have to have the fucking get down. You got to be down with the get down. You know, you got to strive. That's the whole point in striving. You're striving for excellence. Oh, the Raiders. You're striving for excellence. You're striving to achieve your set goal, which, of course, I'm sure his set goal was to become a ranking member of the NF. Now, he did do that. He did achieve his goal. And I can't sit here and tell you his past and fucking Vatos he murked and people he hit and people he held hands with and highness that gave him fucking, you know, uh, uh, Mama La Pinga. I can't sit here and tell you all that. But what I can tell you was the individual did that. Okay. And he found himself right there in Pelican Bay amongst the heavy hitters, amongst men that have been doing this for several decades in a real fashion. Okay. And quietly as it's kept, he got made. He got made in the shade, man sipping on lemonade, right? They felt that for no other reason, they should pull him into this organization, you know, to utilize him for his best qualities. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that the Vatos uh, was mentally fucking the man, right? But I'm sure the way he conducted himself in that interview, the way that he, you know, talked, 
the way he voiced his opinion, he thought about things before he said them. I'm sure the man was well-versed and well-educated, as most Norteños as well as NF members are. You know, the strife for education is real. That is ingrained and pounded into your mente over and over again to, hey, to get a better education. So that way you go out there and you're not doing frivolous talk. You're not out there bullshitting young homeboys, man. When they ask for guidance or they need something, you're going to be the man to give them that game, to give them that clecha, okay? You're a maestro in a sense, meaning a teacher, okay? A teacher to the gente. You show them what the cause means, what the cause is, how to strive for that cause, how to reach our set goals, you know, the historia, the history, the cultura, a little bit of everything goes into one big pot. You mix it up, sounds good. There you go. Menudo, right? Um, But this is what that man did. You know, so I get a lot of DMs over and over again since I started my channel. People always want to know who this guy is. And I understand the reasoning behind it because at one point in time, there was a certain time in life when I wanted to know who the Baloso was, right? Like, who is this guy, Epic Cortina, you know? Because a lot of members from the organization come from the city of San Jol, you know, and the city of Salas. So you're always going to hear, and but they come from all over Northern Califas, but you're always going to hear Salas and San Jol predominantly when spoken about you know, the NF. And this Vato right here, you know, he got on camera, Holmes. He got on TV. So I was scared the Vato was fucking worldwide. You know, he was doing it. So doing that, with that comes recognition. With that comes questions. With that comes answers. Okay? And there's a lot of Vatos that get asked about this individual and they didn't know him personally. Now, I myself did not know this individual personally. That is why I also had questions that got answered. So I went to other guys that were around him and what they've told me, you know, and I've summarized after getting out a few different people. And this is the way it is in life. They always say, hey, PW, black and white, paperwork, that's all that counts. Yeah, but when you're merely asking a question on an individual's character, you know, you might get different answers from everyone. This bottom might have a bone to pick with the dude. This guy might not like him because he jacked his old lady one time for his mind. This bottom might not like him because back in CYA, they took his Cortez. It's not my Cortez, right? You just never know, Okay. But these individuals that I asked were pretty well-laced homeboys, man. They were pretty pretty stern in the way that they talk and the way that they speak, Holmes. Meaning that they're fucking pretty straight up, solid dudes, you know. They're not going to just talk to talk, Holmes. They don't use frivolous wordplay. It's not their agenda, not their estilo, not their get down. So anyways, uh, talking to these guys, I asked, hey, what's up with that Vato Epi Cortina? And they said, ah, man, that Vato was fucking, he holds the world record, Holmes. You know what I mean? We might as well call him Speedy Gonzalez Cortina. I said, is that right? They said, yeah, man, he lasted about all of two weeks, maybe two and a half, Holmes, to give him the fucking, you know, the most. We'll round it up, right? We'll say two and a half. Um, that's what he lasted in the organization. Now, I don't know what happened. You know, it seems funny to me that someone would strive because you don't just get made overnight, Holmes. This is just not something that so can, one day you're locked up, the next day you're home. A big canal. That does not happen. Okay. It's an accumulation of tiempo. It's an accumulation uh, of things, work that you put in. It's an accumulation of being at the right place at the right time with that right somebody next door. All this has to come. It's a perfect storm, Vato. You know what I mean? A perfect storm, a accumulation of everything. And, uh, like I said, he was made so obviously he had what it took. Now, I don't know what led up to his demise for him to fall off and to start debriefing and go into that transitional housing that they showed on the MSNBC show. Because from what I seen, man, this Volta was debriefing and giving up the game uh, quicker than a Volta trying to eat a Snickers bar that's fucking eight, eight in two weeks, right? And reason being that maybe he felt that if for no other reason, you know, the frivolousness of what he thought the organization presented caught up to him or he, he fucked up. And in most cases, man, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Every story is different. Everybody has a different story on to why they strive or to why they fell off or to why they defected. You know, and you can't knock any man, homes. You can't judge any man just based on, you know. So I was scared. Um, no one knows the situation until they're put in it. Okay? No one knew my situation. No one knew Mr. fucking Box's situation. No one knew fucking Rojo's situation. No one knows anybody's situation. So when everyone opens their big fat fucking boca and speaks on it, it's frivolous talk, Holmes. It's, 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 it's kitty stuff, right? And I'm going to explain the reasoning behind that. You know, I don't know why a man does what he does, why he wakes up in the morning and puts his shoes on. I know I put my boots on in the morning, Holmes, because I got to go out there and get fed to feed my fucking kids, Holmes. That's why I do it, right? 
But I can't judge a man that doesn't do it. If he doesn't do it, he just doesn't do it, Holmes. That's on him. He's going to reap what he sows, Holmes. He's going to feel the repercussions for the actions when they happen. Sausuke, bang, bang. It is what it is. And it be what it be like, right? Um, but I myself am a different man, a different character. I'm laced a different way. I'm educated a different way. I'm steadily striving for education, not for the betterment of the people, but for the betterment of myself so that I can be better for the people, the rasa, all of them. Um, and that's what I do. Okay, but this Vato Epic Cortina found himself uh, falling off. Okay, and I would I would love to be in the fly on that wall that day when he debriefed her. I would love to be the fly on that wall on the day when he sat in that cell, man, and what was in his mind and what he was thinking. You know, and a lot of authors get tired. A lot of authors get tired, and I know they say, man, when you sign up for something, Holmes, you got to be fully fledged and dedicated. Orale. You know, a lot of authors are, man. You got that mindset. I'm ready to go till the wheels fall off. And then when fucking one wheel falls off, you have three left. You're like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to pull over, right? And it seems like the Vato pulled over. But he pulled over quite fast within his career. Faster than anyone's ever done it. And I could only wonder if he found himself caught up in a wreck. He seen something he wasn't supposed to and had second thinking, second thoughts. Or he fucking fucked up. You know, maybe something caught up to him. Maybe he had a skeleton in the closet, a wishbone fucking back there that hadn't been broken yet. You know what I mean? And they hit his wishbone one time or his funny bone. One never knows does one. You know, but at the end of the day, I don't judge the man for the decisions he made. Mm -mm. I'm just keeping it real, man. And I put it really out there that this Vato was not everything that they said he was or that he himself said he was. He At no point in time was he ever a captain. Now, you got to understand... These captains, man, you know, without giving away too much of the game, man, because it's none of my business and it's none of yours, right? Um, the captains, bro, are not just someone that is a cat one that just gets made into the organization. That's what's never going to ever happen, okay? A captain is someone, Holmes, that's well-educated within the plight of the NF history that, and a lot of different things that go into that, Okay? Vatos that have been around for a long time, Vatos that are very dedicated and have showed their loyalty and their allegiance to the organization, to the O. These are the ones that are made capitanes. These are Vatos that are part of that inner council homes, the inner workings of what's really going on behind the three Vatos that run the whole show. Okay? So for this Vato to have been a captain, he had to have been uh, uh, at least a Cat 3. Cat 2 to Cat 3 status. You understand what I'm saying? And he... he mm -mm, nah, this Vato was Cat zero and a half. He didn't even really bear, the ink was still wet on his Cat 1 status when he defected, okay? So, for them to say he was a high-ranking member or a captain, no. At no point in time was that Vato a high-ranking member, a captain, a regiment commander, a fucking... He was merely a, 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 a soldado within the NF, okay? Hey, now that's much more than I ever was, so I can't say, hey, you can't hate on the Vato, right? Nah, hey, straight up, homes. You know, straight up. Righteously, the Vato was a member, but it didn't last, okay? And like I said, for all these questions, people ask me, hey, is he really from San Jose? Yes, he really is from San Jose. Man, was he really fucking an NF member? Absolutely, yes, he was. Man, did he really debrief? Watch MSNBC, homes. Keep it on repeat. I'm sure that you'll agree. Um, from what I took from that, um, he chose to defect and give up, you know, um, certain aspects of what was going on. Okay, now that right there, he knows what that entails. Okay, I also know what that entails. And a lot of people watching this right now knows what that entails. So we're going to leave it at that and leave it at that point right there. Um, he's going to have to deal with that when it comes, if it ever does, you know. You never know, man. He could be out living in Hawaii, man, surfing. I go surfing every week. You never know, right? And then a fucking great white shark can come and bite him in the ankles and that's a wrap. You know, you just never know how you go. Look at Alpo. But trip. At the end of the day, man, with all these questions being asked to me about this guy, it's funny because I understand. I truly understand the questioning behind this guy. He looks the part. Got the X4 on the eye, the big old whip, you know what I mean? The ball fucking head. Uh, he looks like your everyday gang member, gangster, veterano, what you aspire to be or what you think they should look like. But quietly as it's kept, they don't always look that way, homes. It's always fucking the quiet, skinny, small guy in the back with the glasses, bro, that no one's paying attention to is the run being the puppet master. I'm your puppet. Mm. Mm. And it's been like that for many, many years, and there's reasonings behind that, bro. One, you don't become a target. Two, you don't judge a man on his looks. You judge a man by right here, what's in here, okay? And at first, 
you don't even judge a man, right? No one can judge no one, but you can judge yourself. Only God can judge us, you know, or the mother. That's it. But I just wanted to make this little spill, rant a little bit, talk a little bit, and uh, put it out there because, you know, people have always asked me, man. They've asked me since I started this channel, hey, what's up with Epi, man, Epi Cortina? And I was like, I don't even know that Bible, so I, I really don't know him like that. But I'll inquire, you know, and I'll start asking. I asked, it took me a while to get to it, and people kept asking. And, you know, I don't like to left no question unanswered. I don't like for the people to have to get after me, uh, you know, get at me on a DM with the same question over and over and over again, and me act like I'm not trying to answer them. Because I'm for the people, by the people. At the end of the day, man, I want to answer all questions that I am able to answer and that I am willing to answer. There are some questions of ongoing investigation, things of that matter. Uh, things that I shouldn't even fucking know, but I just happen to that I ain't going to say shit, vato. Me la pela a la verga when it comes to that. I, 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 no, I'm, it's not going to be me. You ain't going to get it from this channel. I'm not going to do that. But at the end of the day, man, with this guy, like I said, I inquired. I asked a few couple homeboys, righteous ones that I know, real ones. And they said, yeah, bro, he was nada. You know, he was, he, like I said, he was just what he was, man. He was just a regular old cat, uh, cat zero and he made it and then he slightly faded and that was it. And so never trust all these books, never trust all these TV shows, these movies, you know, unless you fucking seen it for your own eyes, homes, you got the paperwork right there. It's stamped by the fucking seal of the state of California. Um, a judge signed that motherfucker and the district attorney fucking dripped his sweat on it it's probably not real it's probably fabricated it's probably frivolous made up paperwork it probably ain't justified and it ain't and the person behind it ain't got the due process enough man to uh uh to get his just right to get his just due so i don't believe myself man i've been laced up long enough to know that fucking i don't believe everything i hear and half of what i see so I was, that's why i don't stop at stop signs i don't believe everything i read shit you got me fucked up you know what i mean um but at the end of the day you know, I just wanted to answer the questions. I know I didn't answer much about the Vato. I can't give you the history to him. I know he was a young, striving Norteño from the city of San Jose doing his thing, righteously so, you know, and worked his way and his career up through the California Department of Corrections to ultimately ending up right there in Pelican Bay and getting pulled as a carna. That's facts. That is facts, right? What's also a fact is that he didn't last very long and then he debriefed. Where he's at now, I have no way of knowing. If he sees this, Spencer Epi. The truth is the truth, right? Um, and that's just what it be like, bro. Um, at the end of the day, do I think you did anything wrong? Charlie, man, you're your own man. Do what you do, brother. You know, strive for yours um, as I strive for mine. I'm just answering the questions that the people have asked. And that's it, plain and simple, period. You know, um, do I think that the Vato's character, um, that this character that they portrayed was what, how all NF members look or how all NF members act? Charlie, you know? You got to understand these big media groups, man, they don't know what real vatos are. You know, they have a, they've seen pictures, they've heard stories, they did a little bit of research homes, and they can only start, they can only begin to wonder homes. And they have a picture in their mind of a vato with the big old wit with the tattoo on his face. He must be a high ranking member. Oh, is that right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Charlie, not all the time. You know, maybe in some circumstances, in some cases, yes, vatos fit the bill. But not all the time, bro. You know, don't go fucking judging a man by his fucking tinta. Judge a man by the way he fucking presents himself. Period. You know, as a righteous dude. Anyways, man, that's my little spill on Epi Cortina. Too bad, and I am sorry the Spence I hinted. I couldn't give you much more on the individual, but I am going to answer the main questions with Sir Charlie. He never was a high-ranking member at all, period. He never ran no fucking Salas. He never ran Sanjo. He never. He might have been influential. He might have been influential with a couple younger homeboys that knew him. He might have been from their barrio. He might have been fucking making moves for someone on behalf of someone else. You know what I mean? It's so scary. Hey, Epi, I need you to write this wheel out. Send this gun out, this missive. Get it to the homeboys out here. Make, it, make that happen. Oh, that's pretty much what he was doing you know what i mean that's pretty much right there dead on it but as far as him making the necessary decisions this is what you guys are going to do and i'm the one and you're going to charlie Holmes. that would never happen not in your wildest dreams not in mine and definitely not in his anyways man i hope that you move fast with a purpose I hope that you get everything that you want remember at the end of the day that's called hustling man hustling for your familia hustling for yourself so that way you can be a productive member of society and go out there and get it for the raza united all the raza Bang, bang. I'm all bald and shit. I'm old, what the? Let me go.